Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Barrett and I am a trombonist. And I have some really fantastic music I want to share with you shortly. But before we do that, I thought we could play a little synonym game. No, not that. Synonym. Some of you may already have learned this in school, but a synonym is a word that has the same or nearly the same meaning as another. For example, if I were to say rain, a few synonyms could be drizzle or flood or shower. Let's try one together. I want you to pause this video and write down as many synonyms as you can think of for the word happy. Here are some of mine. Joyful, ecstatic, cheerful. Now I want you to pause this video and write down some synonyms for the word angry. Here are some of mine, mad, furious, and outraged. We've all felt these emotions at times, but thankfully most of the time we feel something in between these two extremes. Can you think of some words that describe emotions in between happy and angry? Emotions that maybe aren't as strong as happy or angry, but somewhere in between the two. Pause the video and write some of those down. Here are some of mine. Nostalgic, peaceful, neutral, calm, balanced. Now I want you to close your eyes and think of a time when you went from feeling one of these emotional states to a completely different one. It could have been today, this month, this year, or long ago. Maybe you went from feeling calm to angry, ecstatic to furious, or peaceful to joyful. I can think of many times when I was angry that the subway was late and crowded, but then when I was finally at school, I was excited and happy to see my friends. Music can express joy and anger, but can also express the emotions in between. As I play this next piece, I want you to think of what emotional state the music might be communicating. Is it extreme or somewhere in between? You might find that it moves through several emotional states.
So what did you hear? Was it one emotional state the whole time, or did it move from one to another? No matter what emotions you heard in the music, I want to challenge you even further to think about why the music made you hear that emotion. Was it how loud it was? How fast? How high? How low? How slow? How smooth or how short the notes were? The great thing about music is that this answer is different for everyone. I have my own ideas, but I'd encourage you to share with a classmate or with your full class what emotions you heard and what in the music made you come to that conclusion. It might be a good idea to rewind and listen again if you're unsure. For those who are interested, this piece is called Sweet Latino Americana by Horacio Fernandez, a young Mexican pianist and composer currently studying composition at the Juilliard School. <laughs> 